is the rebranded MPP Solar that I was using. But this is what I have today. It just arrived in the mail. All right. Well, here it is. This is the MPP Solar PIP 5048GK. Uh, it's not parallelable from what I have read. However, it puts out 5,000 watts of power. Um, with that being said, uh, the surge capacity to this machine is 10,000 watts. So here, what I'm trying to show you is the build quality of this machine. As of the fit and finish of the last inverter that I had, um, I would have to say it was pretty good already. But looking at how MPP has built their machines, I would say that they're a step above. Um, if I had to rate this, I would probably put this at a 9. Again, we're not looking at uh, the aesthetic values of the inverter itself as far as the uh, the molding of a plastic or anything like that you know it's not going to look like a solar edge or an SMA but I have to say that for what you get here you can see that the fit and finish is pretty precise and it's just done very well um, again there's a lot of people that have put uh, a lot of time in as far as doing reviews on these machines. Here you can even see through the vents there's a, a bit of a, uh, a filter there. Um, if you have your inverter inverters out on a farm like I do, um, you'll collect a lot of dust, believe me. So, so these filters, they do a very good job of keeping that dust away from the components inside. Um, one of the things that I've learned about this particular inverter reading through the uh, manual is that you can actually program when it can come on and off now I don't know if that's true or not I'm just seeing this from other videos that have been made um, but I've also read it in the manual that I downloaded uh, it comes with the manual but I can't read it because it's uh, it's too small <laughs> for my eyes um, so I downloaded the PDF which is uh, easily downloadable on their website um, and everything I need right now is built into this inverter. I don't need any more than five kilowatts of power right now. Um, later on, probably I might opt for their parallelable uh, inverters, uh, the MK, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the MK uh, can only handle 145 volts open circuit. This particular unit, however, um, can handle 500 volts open circuit. With that being said, the MK is parallelable, so obviously you can put as many uh, inverters together as I think up to nine to to make up for that open circuit voltage. But there is another uh, inverter that they have. However, it doesn't have the Bluetooth that this one ha has. What it does do is that it can al also be paralleled and each inverter handles 500 volts open circuit so hopefully that'll change uh, anyway if you like this channel you like this review please like and subscribe thank you